I said in the previous tutorial, showing you how tabs work on a blank sheet of paper is one thing. I wanna show you how somebody actually used them and we're gonna kind of reverse engineer their process and learn what the designer did. So I'll go to File and Open, Chapter 6. And again, I only have one folder, the rest are videos, so we'll open up Menu Tabs. And here is an actual shot from a menu. Okay, so I want to figure out these tabs. Now, first thing I'll notice is that this line is a menu item number, the name, leaders, and a price. Then you've got a tab, and another tab, and a leader tab, and another tab, and another leader tab. You got a lot of tabs on this second line. But the second menu item is almost exactly the same. So I'm only gonna do it once. I'm gonna take my type tool, just start right above the six and 68, and I'll click and drag over to there. Make your text frame bigger than what you need. Okay, because you're not gonna see this end on the right anyway. So once I let go, I'm gonna type in 68, period, space, house, special, yaki, noodle, and without putting a space, I'm gonna type the price, 650. Okay, let's figure out this line of text. So I'm gonna highlight all that, and I'm gonna hit Command T, and I'm just gonna use Arial. So I'll highlight the name of the font, A-R-I, and we'll go with Arial Regular. I need that type to be a little bigger, so let's make it about as tall as our text would be. Right about there, 19 point looks pretty good. You can see I'm kind of matching the size of the font, about the height of the font right there. Okay, that's gonna work for me, but that is way, way, way too long. So I'm gonna highlight all of this text. And I wanna make sure the E in noodle kinda of lines up with the E. So what I'm gonna do is with my black arrow, just move this up so I can see the length of this text below. Now I can highlight and I'll hit the horizontal scale. So let's just shrink that back down. Right about there, that looks good. So you can see all this type is about the same length as the menu item name. So I put it to about 76% aerial regular at 19 points. All right, let's bump this back down with my arrow key on my keyboard. Put it back into place right there. Okay, I'm going to take my type tool, click at the end of the 650 and hit return. And I'm going to put the rest of the text. Add, colon, no spaces here. Chicken. 7.50 stake, 7.95. Okay, the bottom line is air, uh, times, it's not aerial. So I'm gonna highlight the bottom line, highlight the name of the font, type T-I-M-E, and we'll put it in times italic. There we go. In fact, let's make that stand out a little bit more. Let's try times bold italic, that'll work. All right, this is pretty much the same setting we had before, but just to make sure we are working at the same setting here, I want to make sure the word add kind of lines up with their word add. So I'm gonna hit the space bar a couple of times like this, just to kind of line it up. I can see that it's off. So let's highlight this and I'm gonna hit the horizontal scale. We'll hit the up arrow, maybe make it uh, 85%. So I can see the word add kind of lines up. Let's make this type a little bigger, go 21 points. And that is coming down a little too low. So I'm gonna go to the letting and let's hit the down arrow just a Lift that back up right there. That looks good. The word add kind of lines up with the word add. I'm going to go with that. Okay, so I put the second line here as times bold italic, 21 point, 23 point letting, 
85% horizontal scale. That's going to work for me. I don't have to match everything exactly perfect, but I'm trying to get close. Now, keep in mind, I don't need this space. Okay, I use that just so I can put the word add on top of itself so I can kind of measure that. So I'm going to highlight this space and delete it. And now I'm going to start to do my tabs. So this top line only has one tab for the price. This bottom line has multiple tabs. So I'm going to do them separately. I'm going to highlight the first line all the way over to the right. Right there. And then I'm going to go to type and tabs. It only has one tab and that's where I have to line up the prices. So I'm going to click on the decimal tab. I'm going to click and drag in this thin little space above the ruler right there. I want to line up my price according to the period in 650 and I want to lead their eye. Now, before I said you can use two characters, I'm just going to type one period. So it's going to be one space, one space, one space, one space. So we don't have a big solid line of dots here. Click once before or before the 650 or right in between noodle and 650 and I will hit tab. Perfect. If that didn't quite line up where I wanted it to, I'll just take this little arrow, just kind of nudge that back a little bit. There we go with my scan. I like that. It's done. Now I'm going to highlight all of this. Notice no spaces between anything. Tabs are what I'm going to use for spaces. And let's do it again. Type menu, tabs. I'm going to do a left align tab. So I'm going to line up the A in the word add right about there. You can see how it kind of lines up with this A right there. I'm going to do another left align tab for the C in chicken right about there. I'll do another as long as I'm on this tab. I'm just going to keep putting them in first. I'll do another one right here where I want the price to be. For 750. I'll do another tab right here for the word steak and I'll do another tab. These are all left aligned tabs. Okay, I just put them in there first. But I know this one is for the word add, this one is for the word steak or chicken, sorry. This one should be for the price. So I'm going to click on that arrow and change it to a decimal tab. Okay, I want to line up my prices according to the decimal. So I'm going to click in the leader field, type one period. Then the word stake, I want it to line up on the left side of the word. So that's a left align tab. No leader there because there's no leaders here. This one should line up my prices. So again, I'm going to click on that arrow tab, click the decimal tab and then lead people's eyes over to the price with one period. So now let's see what we get. Click at the beginning of the word add, hit tab. Click before chicken, hit tab. Click before the price, hit tab. There's my leaders. Click before stake, there's my left tab. Click before the seven, tab. If this decimal doesn't quite line up with that, let's just drag this tab back a little bit. There we go. And this looks great. I like it. If this price went a little too far, let's just drag this back. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to close this up. Okay, the thing that I don't like is when I turn off my bottom layer, I don't like uh, this big gap between the 7 and the 50 or the 7 and the 95. So I'm going to take my type tool, click right there, and I'm going to decrease the amount of kerning, the amount of space between those two elements, the seven and the period. So I'm going to hit the down arrow and see if I can just decrease that spacing right there. Click right here and I'll hit the down arrow and decrease the amount of space right there just so they kind of line up a little better. There we go. One line had one tab, this one had one, 
two, three, four, five tabs on one line of text. So now what I can do is highlight the word add, go to my swatches, and I don't have orange here for the type. So I'll go to window, color, color, bring up my color panel. I'll switch that to CMYK and I'll mix a shade of orange for the word add. There we go. Okay, let's turn on the template. So that's good. Maybe the word add should be a little more reddish orange. Let's highlight, that's kind of a yellowish orange. And this looks, mix a little bit more magenta there. There we go, looks a little more solid. So now here's the great thing. I've got a whole new line right here. Well, add is the same, chicken is the same, 750 is the same, steak is the same, 795 is the same, even the menu item price is the same. I really just have to worry about 68A and change it from house special yaki noodle to yaki soba. So I'm just gonna take this one where we've already figured out the tabs Hold shift and option, and I'll just pull it down below here first so I can see it a little more clearly on my screen. And here's the beauty of tabs. I can highlight all of this, hit delete, and my price never moved. It is glued to that tab position. That is why you use tabs. So now I can type A period space Yaki noodle, nothing moved. All my prices will be perfectly in alignment. So now I hold shift, click and drag it back up, turn off my template, hit W, and there we go. Reverse engineered what another graphic designer did, because now I can do it and I can get the job. So there you go, you can always change these fonts at any time after you're done. So if I highlighted this text and it's all times bold italic, I could switch that to times italic if it's too thick. Yeah, I kind of think the thinner one looks better. Let's go here, change it to times italic. My periods, my tabs are not gonna move. Maybe I just want the word add to be in bold italic. I'll put the word add so people can make sure they know they can add chicken or steak. All right, there we go. Two lines of custom made tabs for a menu item from a real menu. So now you know how to use tabs and keep this in mind. Study this, practice with it over and over because I guarantee you are going to see this, this exact page on your InDesign midterm. I'm gonna ask you to show me you really understand your tabs. Okay, so you're gonna have to recreate this in InDesign for your midterm. All right, there you go, tabs in InDesign.